Welcome back, friends. I have another Excel shortcut for you. This is my favorite Excel shortcut. And if I had to pick only one, this would be the one. So I have a bunch of numbers on my screen right now. Has this ever happened to you? This happens when you have numbers that are so large that they're larger than the width of your column. And so you get stuck with these number signs. And what you have to do is you have to expand out the width of the column until your numbers appear in the column. The typical way you would do this is you would go up to the top of the column and you would click on the edge here and you would just drag it until it becomes wider so you have some of the numbers show up. Now, not all the numbers showed up here. I have to keep dragging, keep dragging it over until I get the right width. What you really want is you want it to auto width. You want to do it automatically so it's the right width. Another thing you can do is you can come to the top here and you can just double click at the edge of this column here. If I just double click this, it will automatically make this the right width. And you can see this number is huge down here. Uh, let me scroll over a little bit. This number is huge, but this is the right column width. And I just double clicked here. Now there is an even easier way to do this by using Excel shortcuts. Excel makes this really easy and it all starts with pressing the alt key on your keyboard. So if you press alt, you will notice a number of letters appear at the top of your screen. And what Excel is doing is Excel makes it possible for you to get to anything on the ribbon at the top of your screen just by pressing keys on your keyboard. So if we press Alt, you'll see the letters up there. Each one of those letters corresponds to one of the, the headings of the ribbons. So let's say I wanted to go to View. I could just press W or I want to go to data. I just press a, well, we're going to go to home. We're going to press H and then boom, you have letters showing all the different options on the home ribbon at the top of your screen. Now, what you would normally do, let's get out of that for a second. What you would normally do if you want to do auto width is you would come over here to format and you would click and it would bring down this window and you would come down here to auto fit column width. That's the long way of doing it. But we can get there just by the number, by the keys on your keyboard. And you can get to anywhere on this ribbon by doing that. I mean, if you have any kind of function that you do a lot, you just remember the pathway of how to get there. And then boom, 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 you just hit it on your keys and you get it done. So to auto fit this column width, the key combination is alt hoi. It's alt plus H O I. It's very easy to remember. And what's really cool about this is all the numbers are really close together on your hand. So you can press it really quickly. You do alt H O I boom and the column width is automatically fitted to your list of numbers. You know what, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I love doing this so much. Let me show you how fast this is. Alt H O I, boom, it's that fast. No moving around your mouse, no clicking around. I just do it. So this is my favorite Excel shortcut. I don't know how many times I have used this over the years of using Excel, too many to count. It's probably saving me so much time and clicks on the mouse. So I hope you found this helpful. Go out and have fun on your Excel projects. Thank you so much for watching. If you have additional accounting questions, you can always email me through my website, wolvesandfinance.com, and I will reply with my rates. I'm Zach from Wolves and Finance. Let's go out and make some money.